Hey you guys, it's Cam, Mad Redneck Scientist. Um, I want to apologize for not posting any videos recently. Um, just been a lot going on between move and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I've been working on. Uh, I've finally gotten to the point I can start working on my 71 CUDA. Um, as you can tell, um, the front end is pretty much completely stripped. Um, suspension, um, almost everything in the engine bay. I got some makeshift fuel pump, brake boost, there's some miscellaneous stuff. But for the most part, this has all been stripped and I now know what I need um, to replace, what needs to be repaired. Um, it's not quite as bad as I thought. Um, well, the real reason I was showing you or I was making this video is because I started sandblasting the case of the CUDA. Um, and it's actually turning out pretty well. Um, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to get every single speck off of it or anything like that. Um, I just want to get it cleaned up so I can get some um, undercoating on it, get it protected um, once I get it reinstalled on the car. So what I want to show you this sandblaster I got just from Harbor Freight. Um, I've had it for a year, two years now. Um, it's not bad. It's had some issues that I've had to make some modifications, but I mean, it's Harbor Freight. What do you expect? So, um, sandblasting, the biggest issue people run into is sandblasting is they don't get dry enough air. Um, and what happens, especially if you're running... Um, soda based material soda blasting stuff like that when the water gets in the material it chunks it up clogs up hoses everything has to be dis disassembled and blown apart if you guys look even on the cheap end for an air dryer to paint sandblast um, you could be looking i think the cheapest i found was about 800 bucks and they go up into tens of thousands so I want to show you a cheap way to make your own air dryer that has actually worked very, very well for me over the last years. So all you do is you take some pipe. Um, I used half inch black iron and you just make these hills and valleys and you just mount it up against the wall or another surface to dissipate heat. At the bottom, your air comes down this way and then you have a trap down here with a uh, release or with a valve here to purge the water out and then it goes back up to the next one back down to this and you just do that over and over and I have uh, one two three I have four four hills throughout this entire one and I think I have six valves one two three four five valves um, all you do is run your compressor line into one side and out the other side you run your outlet up the pipe some and I just put an additional uh, air dryer on here I just got it from Lowe's I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks um, and then you run your air hose out then you run to your sandblaster paint gun anything like that and it's worked really 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 well for me I'd highly recommend it if you're on a budget I'm sure professional grade ones are better but it works I'm not gonna knock it it works so um, just something I f figured out by doing some research online um, so if you're in need of an air dryer and you don't want to spend like 700 800 bucks I think I pay like 180 bucks for everything on that um, including the brass fittings drain line I had it all set up at my prior place where each one of the drain valves went into a tube and it vented outside it kept the moisture um, out of my shop at the time um, this one I still have I just hung it up last minute because I kind of needed it I never really worried about the drain stuff I'll have to deal with that on a later date um, so that's just kind of how I did that um, for those of you who don't understand why your compressor gets water or moisture in it and in the air um, especially if you're in a humid environment um, 
what happens is when you compress air, it heats up. Um, and what that does is it vaporizes any of the water um, in the, that's in the ambient air that it pulls in. Well, what happens is after you use your compressor for a while, the entire tank gets warm and it can no longer dissipate enough heat for the water to just naturally sink to the bottom. That's why all compressors have a drain valve on the bottom. Um, if you're doing something like sandblasting, painting, um, something of that nature, then you're going to be using enough air that the compressor is going to constantly be cycling and it's not going to have a chance for the water to uh, condensate on the walls of the compressor and drain to the bottom. Um, and actually what I have actually run into is running my power, my air tools for a long period of times. I've actually started getting moisture blown out of the exhaust port on whatever tool I'm using. Um, so it's a good idea to have a dryer up, not only for longevity of tools, but if you're doing anything that is moisture sensitive, it really, really helps. It's a cheap alternative. And um, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys right now. Um, and there is my 71 that has horrible cancer. And I'm gonna be touching every single piece of sheet metal and possibly replacing most of it. So, all right, I appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Um, if you would, subscribe, keep up to date on my videos. I know I don't post as often as most people, but it does help me out. So I appreciate it, and until next time.